Good day, Eivor. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? I'll go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Hey, friend. Could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Juvena. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm, bitter. Has Jor wronged him somehow? <laughs> Little one, can you help me? I am looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Juvina mean anything to you? Hmm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biamiland. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. And what about me? Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. You know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Here. Yeah. This is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body... It's not Hjor or Lufna. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Is Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Luvina. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. Can we deal with this later? It's not safe here.
I am sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. She can't have gotten far. Look around. Here's a rock for your scout! Ready for me? I do not see any others. Let's keep moving. This way. Let's go. Can't scare him. Come on then. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips from the goddess of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Pure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the end. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret, but they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names, our leads. Listen to her, Jor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. 
Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Cure, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am far away. War chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. My love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Your has changed, softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. You've made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Dogmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I'll have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares.
I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something. The Dogmaster. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yawping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. The depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Orc has a stake in these dogs. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. Black cloth on their stores. Gods never you mind. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with fire, boy. The needle is known to sting for far less than... Exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Coppergate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. The key? Where to? I don't know for sure. I need who is calling for more protection. Meet me here at night. We will go Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls, eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Hey! Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. 
Watch yourself around here, young one. Who, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand. Who can thread a needle? Someone like me. You're a shit poet. But at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Hey! Let's press game, you hot girl! You're mad! Take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Grigory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please understand. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. The gods here are vigilant. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky. Hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. 
But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house. Gave me hearty meals. A warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness. Compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you.